Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Gazal Unicorn. I purchased this from Hobi and from Turkey and I just fell in love with this yarn. It is 100% super wash merino, but I don't know if it's anti-pilling. That's only my concern. But I said, oh, forget it. I'm just going to buy more, which I did. Okay. Um, I did knit several cardigans similar to this yarn. And they were like, I don't know, $30, $40 a skein. <laughs> it was a fortune. And um, I sold them right away as soon as I uh, posted them on my Etsy shop. So when I saw this yarn, I recognized this. If you recognize uh, the color... Uh, the texture the it's so super soft but my only concern is it going to uh, you know the pilling that's all my only concern because i did knit a couple of sweaters for myself and i ended up donating them because they kept on pilling yeah that that's the only thing when you wear them like you, you know you know you're touching it especially on the underarm gets uh, pilled a terribly uh, but those yarns that i purchased were high-end indeed dyers that i have purchased them from so uh they were not in made in turkey so i, I wanted to just try this out and see i don't know i might uh, post it on my etsy shop the pattern you can go into my youtube channel when you look into my youtube channel uh, like i am wearing the sweater that's the sweater i'm going to make so i bought that yarn from um uh, Michael's years ago and I bought all of the color that I saw there and I knitted that card again and it sold in like minutes okay so what I did is I caked it <laughs> and today is Monday so I wanted to start before Tuesday hits okay so this is how it turns out just want to show you my um I bought this this is like 20 20 years old it's plastic I paid for three dollars on Amazon. Three dollars, yes, I paid three dollars. Uh, but this thing, when it arrived, this thing was broken. So I worked with it for twenty years, but I think I need to replace it. And what happened here? Oh my goodness, I'm tangled. So I need to replace it. I need to stop buying yarn and then uh, buying a new one. See, I, I even glued it. I tried everything. When this arrived, this was broken, so it keeps on going down, and when it goes down, it doesn't kick it well. But I worked it out for 20 years. My husband helped me a lot when he caked my yarn, because uh, when I was knitting with, uh, you know, skeins with this, uh, you need to cake them, or else you can't knit it. See how it goes down? So I, nothing happened. It arrived like this, but this is broken. That's the only problem, but I did have it work. I don't know, I glued it, I crazy glued it, but it keeps on going down for some reason. Yeah. But I've been using it for 20 years, yeah. And it does the job, that's the thing, right? And then the other thing is my uh, blue uh, umbrella. It's right over there, I don't want to show you my mess. Because <laughs> I have yarn and whips everywhere. But I did... Um, um what you call it okay here is the my umbrella again this is 20 years old i've been using it and uh it does not hold heavy skeins yeah it just holds i don't know up to 200 gram does not hold you know when i buy a, too much yarn like huge skeins so yeah I need to replace this too but I, I you know I'm still using it it does the work that's the thing right <laughs> so you need a umbrella and you need a, you need a thing to make a cake when you're buying hanks like this so um I already started well actually I cast it on and I am going to and look how oh it's it's just fantastic I don't know uh, I haven't uh, knit it yet, but uh, it's turning out perfectly. So let me just move these aside. 
So Hobie M sent me an email that they have 50, if you buy $50 and over, you get a free shipping. Ta-da! I said, yeah! <laughs> and then they had the same color, because when I bought it, they only had seven. It came super fast. Oh, I don't know which day I did. It was over the weekend, just before the weekend. So I'm just going to open this and show you the yarn. But it was on regular price, but I got free shipping. So I saved up, I don't know, $16, $22. And I did not pay custom fee. That's another thing. I did not pay custom fee. It says it's 500 gram. But no, it's not. It's more than that, actually. Because I bought... It's actually one kilogram. Because I bought... Uh, 10. No, I didn't buy 10. Yeah. Okay, let me see. I don't want to cut the yarn. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Let me just clip it here. Okay. I don't want to cut my yarn. Yeah, they're in a bag. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah. See? It's the same color. I hope so. Looks like one is mostly, is it? I don't know. It's mostly blue, look. They must have uh, received a new shipment, huh? What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, look. Well, yeah, they're the same. Well, look at it, I don't know. So 10, when I'm looking, they're the same, yeah? The lot is it the lot color? Let me see. These don't do they have lot colors? The lot is same. One three three zero. See this one looks more darker. I don't well, they're the same. Come on. I'm so picky. wash after knit yeah we need to wash it okay so i went and ordered 10 so i have 12 that it would be perfect for me to knit a knit a cardigan because there's a uh, over a kilogram of yarn here 1200 actually yeah they're the same come on see how the color is vibrant yeah, so I already caked it. I'm not going to go over the yarn, should I? Okay, let's go over the yarn. So uh, these uh, skeins, skein, whichever you'd like to call it, it's about 100 gram, 3.52 ounces, 197 meter, and 250 yard. And it's super soft to the skin. It's super wash, merino wool. These yarn go out hand dyed indie yarns they go out they, they are sold for 40 canadian if you're lucky you can get it for 30 canadian it's made in Can uh, turkey is there uh, is there are no dye lots oh okay buying enough yarn at one time to complete yeah one time but you guys didn't have enough yarn so i had to come back right that's the other thing it's always uh, good to buy it at once because the next patch, if you, if you look at it, it's, it is different. Well, now, come on. When you look at it, see, they look alike. Yeah, it's rainbow colors. Yeah. And it doesn't, it says knit with a six, but I started with a f five because I believe uh, if I knit f further going down, I can change my knitting needles to a bigger size. But I think six would be too big to start. So I'm going to be knitting a top down. And uh, this is like a light, uh, light four, I would say. Not a four weight, but a light four. A heavy uh, three weight. Yeah, it is super soft. I'm thrilled that these arrived. Yeah, so I'm going to start and uh, put it aside, of course. <laughs> finish another project but um i want to knit this up 
and then go from there. Okay, where is my whip? Okay, let me just uh, <laughs> start and show you how it knits up. Because I cast it on and it felt so good casting on, uh, you know, with this yarn. Okay, so I'm just going to do pearl. I had a question on one of my tutorials. Uh, she was asking, how do you pearl? Pearl, you can do pearl, yarn on the front, and then pearl like this. Or like this. Okay, and I show this all, always on my tutorials. Or what you can do is, I'm not going to knit the first stitch. What you can do is, you can knit. You can knit front and back, and then you will get a pearl. If you don't want to pearl and you don't like it, this is the easiest way to create a purl stitch. You knit the front and you knit the back. See? Let me just knit this. Yeah, I'm, all of my uh, circular needles are occupied. <laughs> I found this and this one has a very long wire, unfortunately. They're all occupied. Sitting, waiting for me to knit, uh, knit them. Okay, it did split, yes, it does split, see? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I think these are higher, higher knitting needles. I like uh, Knitting Pride. That one's occupied over there. It is a uh, one ply yarn, so it is not two plied or anything else. So one ply is when you grab the uh, roving. I, I want to do a tutorial with you guys uh, to show you how one ply, two plies are done. Never had a chance all these years, but um. One ply is when you uh, separate the roving, the fiber from the roving, and then you spin it. You spin it. Uh, one ply is spin. It, it, I heard a couple of uh, YouTubers saying that it's not spin, but it is spin. If, if you don't spin it, you can't knit it or crochet with that uh, yarn. It has to be spin to make it stronger. So this is spin, and it's one ply. So uh, it's nice. It gives a nice texture when you knit it up. I like it. So, uh, yeah, let me just finish this row and uh, come back to show you how it looks like that the other side. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm watching Netflix. <laughs> and then, uh, what's it on? Alita? Yeah, that popped up. So I just log into. Netflix to watch a movie because I'm really tired and I wanted to do one unboxing Another unboxing that uh, I have four packages that arrived three were from Iplic outlet, but I'm really tired um, Yeah, it's been a long day for me with the tutorials one after another Okay, I was so busy on the weekend anyways, so I finished the first row. I don't want to go on forever I just wanted to show you how it knits up. See, oh my goodness. I don't know if the, it's the knitting needles. I really like the Haya Haya too. I like the knitting pride, pride and I like the Haya Haya. Uh, Addies, not, well, mines are old. I don't know the new ones. I didn't buy a new one. Well, I did buy for socks. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Look at the texture. Come on. It's focusing on the cake. Let me just move that camera. Okay, see? Okay, that uh, cardigan that you see on the pro profile that I have on my YouTube channel, that yarn was thick. That one, yarn was roving as well, and that was made in Turkey. It was the Loops and Threads yarn. Karma, I believe the color was. I can't 
yeah, unfortunately, uh, they sold it that year and then it was gone. See? So this is going to be thin compared to that one, but still it will look nice. So I'm going to be making lacy uh, stitches, different lacy stitches, as the one you see on the on my YouTube channel. Oops, it did split. So I have to be careful. It does split because being uh, one ply. I could have added a, another yarn, another thread. But I just love the color. I just wanted it to be, you know, solid, uh, just one yarn. You can also do that, but I don't want, I just want this color to focus on this color. So when you knit the wrong side and the right side, you, you get these bumps, these pearl stitches. See how it looks like? So I'm going to knit a couple of rows and I will post a picture on my Instagram or on the um, on the YouTube channel when you look at my videos. Thumbnail? Yeah, thumbnail. I will post a pic. Well, yeah, if you go into my Instagram page, I post pictures there. As, uh, if I'm working on projects, I post how it goes. Then you can get an idea. So I just wanted to uh, give you a review about this yarn, and I went back and I did buy. Like I said, I live in Canada. I did not pay custom fees. For some, uh, I'm going to bite my tongue. I don't want to uh, say anything, but um, the thing is, I, I, haven't, I, do, I haven't been charged when I buy it from Hobium. But any time when I go to... It's been years. I, I can do another video about that. Uh, I've been buying with Ice Yarn for a, over a decade. And then I opened my account there. So I do see all the yarns that I have purchased. I have an account. And it's showing nine years. I've been uh, buying from them. Sometimes I forget to log in when you, you, know, when you order. So, uh, yeah, and uh, every time I went go over Canadian dollars, nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, I get charged for a custom fee. Even if I pay twenty one dollars, I get charged for a twenty dollar custom fee, or you know, up. So that's the reason. Uh, this yarn, the same yarn, is sold there as well. So first, I looked at the prices there and I compared, and they were like nine dollar different without the shipping so when you add the shipping it adds more right so uh well the shipping free fee fee was free at hobium so i went with hobium yeah but the ice yarn carries their own brand name but it's the same yarn okay well uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel this is the youtube thing i have to repeat it <laughs> if i don't you will forget to subscribe and uh click that uh bell notification so every time i post a video you will be notified take care everybody stay safe it's really nice to knit with this yarn i really enjoy it oh uh, another thing if you're still here feels like or Uri yarn that i buy from south america Maliburi. That's what it feels like because I have knit several uh, garments with that yarn. Like those are expensive, $40, $30. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's really nice. Take care, everybody. Oh, all the yellows are coming to this side now. <laughs> that happens when it's variegated.